What is going on guys? Welcome back to Cannonball Repair. David here, AKA Grizzly Adams. Anyway, today we're working on a water pump. We're doing the engine swap on a water pump. We got five horse bricks here and uh, it had a backfire or something, the gas leak and uh, pretty much melted and cooked everything on the carburetor. So the guy's wanting his water pump it was hooked to a water pump that he run his, and irrigated his garden with well he wanted it up and running and he had a lot of trouble out of this engine to start with so he just went and bought a 212 predator go down to harbor freight buy you a 212 predator same pto shaft everything should bolt right up so we took we went ahead and we've already taken the uh water pump off off the engine we want to make sure that the internals of the water pump was still okay before he went and spent the money on buying a new engine for it. So, all the pumps, internals look good. So we're just gonna go ahead and do an unboxing here on this old Predator. And uh, I'm gonna show y'all a part number. I don't, people say it don't make a difference, but he bought the Hemi. It's got the Hemi head on it. So I'm gonna show you how to decipher whether yours has a Hemi or not or how to pick out a Hemi in the store because they're side by side and they look similar but there's a part number and the picture of the engine is different so I'm gonna get y'all flipped around here and show you what's going on we'll do an unboxing here and uh, I'll show you what to do to get this engine running we're gonna go ahead and break it in do a break-in cycle on it, heat cycle, before we even hook it to the water pump because as y'all know, you can't run these water pumps without having water in them. And I don't have no water around here that needs pumping. So we'll just run this uh, without the pump and then we'll put the pump on and then he can take it and start irrigating his garden with it. So y'all stay tuned. guys here's just a quick assessment of the damage um, that's pretty well toasted the gas cap it's pretty well toasted it's actually still got a half a tank of fuel in it but look at this guys it got so hot that it has melted the arms these aren't hooked to anything no more so we'll just have to uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure he's going to call that motor trash. So we may try to keep it. We'll try to save it. We might turn it into a Broda. I don't know if y'all know what a Broda is, but that's where we take a Briggs and put a Honda carburetor on it. Yeah. But anyway, this will make a good go kart motor. We'll, 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 we'll save this. So y'all stay tuned to see a revival on this thing. But on to the 212 Predator. And right here it says pressure washer, CMEC mixers, compressors, mowers, lock splitters, vacuums, tillers, water pumps. Bingo. Also can be used as, you know, any kind of power source that you need. I, <laughs> but if y'all are wanting a Hemi head right here, go to Harbor Freight and look up that part number. Find that part number. This is a Hemi engine. Also, look at this. It's got a cast a cast aluminum valve cover. The pictures are different on the box. The non-hemi will have a stamped steel, it'll be shiny. But being this is a hemi head, it has a cast aluminum valve cover. And you can also peek through the hole and see the cast aluminum cover in there. So Let's get set up and pull this motor out. All right, after you open the box, you got your owner's manual. And they package these engines pretty well. Egg crate thing. Oh, there it is, guys. There it is. So, the tag here is saying, hey, put oil in it. We don't have oil in these engines. 
metal and gas. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Out with the old, in with the new. We're going to repower here. This is rated at 6.5 horsepower. This is at 5, obviously. Now, don't get me wrong. These 5-horse flathead brigs are great engines. They're great engines. But he was having trouble. He said this one was stubborn to start. And uh, I guess being it got so hot that the, uh, the diaphragm in this carburetor right here a little diaphragm in behind this i'm sure it's toast so but we'll we'll try to revive this and see what we can get out of it but for the time being we're going to do a break-in procedure on this engine and i'm going to show you what to do we're going to it's these things come running out of the box pretty much all you got to do is put oil in here and you can fill it up either front or back We'll take this off. We don't need to sling a keyway off and hit somebody. That could be bad. But that is neat that they send a keyway. So, but our water pump has an internal keyway in the impeller, so we don't have to worry about that. But we'll put some gas in it, fire it up, and let it run about, about half throttle for somewhere around 45 minutes to an hour. And then uh, we'll be good to go. All right, guys, moment of truth. I know the video is cut out, but this will be the first attempt at trying to crank this. So we'll turn the switch on. Here's your fuel. It's on. Pull the choke. This is your throttle. So they're slow. Put just a little bit up. How many pulls you think? I think two maybe three. Here we go. piece of plywood that way it won't be bouncing around on the rocks here but uh we're gonna fire it up and let it run for probably 45 minutes just kind of get a good heat cycle in it and get it broke in so here we go Break in oil out, got new oil back in, ready to put that water pump on. Well guys, that's it. It's all back together. I'll let the customer come get it and he can hook his uh, water, all his water lines and stuff up, make sure it's building pressure and working like it should. 
But other than that, pretty straightforward. All the threads are the same. I didn't have to buy new bolts or nothing. So you can't beat that. But anyway, uh, as usual, thank you all for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for more. And uh, if you have any interest in the old flathead back there, put, put me some uh, recommendations in the comment. Should we build it? Put it back stock? Go kart? What, what, what should we do here? Y'all let me know. All right. We'll see y'all later. Bye.